All right, everybody, we are uh, back to topic four of the week here on uh, Study Hall on UFS University. My name's Tam. I'm joined by James and Tyler. And uh, so today what we're going to do is talk about the deadlock keyword in Street Fighter versus Dark Stalkers. Um, what deadlock is for the unenrolled is if your opponent is at 11 or more foundations – you may activate the abilities on these cards, and vice versa. If you're if you're at eleven or more foundations, your opponent can activate their deadlock abilities. So, my question that I have is: deadlock is an incredibly powerful keyword, especially especially when uh, Cowboy Bebop that set dropped. Definitely. Deadlock was all over the place. Deadlock was like like oh, I made a deadlock deck. That was um, my third place deck. And so deck. my que- my question is. Two parts. Number one is does deadlock still matter? Is deadlock still as important as it was in the Cowboy Bebop slash Mortal Kombat era with this set? And is the deadlock that we got in Street Fighter vs. Dark Talkers, is it detrimental to the game? Is it good enough to be up there with the greats like um, Overly Dramatic and uh, Missile Launcher? Missile Launcher. I'm trying to think of the – Does it have for – There's a – Mortal Kombat one. I'm trying to think of that has desperation. Oh, Prince of Perry. You know, that's desperation. Uh, yeah, deadlock. I'm trying to think of a good deadlock card from Mortal Kombat. Uh, cleanse all souls. Fatality. <laughs> <laughs> Cleansing of the souls. Cleanse uh, all souls. No, that's a Jedi's card. Um, the form to make form a character. That it's an Armat card. We can't think of it. Anyways, I think that's uh, such a cool card. Uh, deadlock on cards. What a uh, What's worth it? So if you're playing Gil. Yeah, all of Gil's attacks have, if you're a deadlock, it's nuts. Yeah. yeah. Deadlock, it ignores progressive and gets plus four damage. So every attack is getting four, four, and is free to play, essentially. Yep, yep, yep. And if they block it, you draw a card. Yeah, it's yep. very good. Um, I think Gil very, very, very much wants to be a deadlock character. Um, You can just look at his attack lineup and see that. But I'm not positive his attacks by themselves are worth playing exclusively in him because you do have to get to that deadlock keyword. Yeah, I think. Yeah, like Gil, Gil can just die too easily. Yeah, I am H O. I think. Uh, I think I'm actually looking up the deadlock keyword here. There is a surprisingly only. There is, there is very, very little when it comes to deadlock, honestly. So, like, if you're playing all fire void, I think Saved by Elena is a very good deadlock ability on a card. It's check of five at the top card of your deck to your momentum. It's just a snap momentum for a check five. Yeah, that's, like, really good with a missile launcher. All right, great. I think Showtime's great in the... I think Showtime is incredibly good. I've never, ever, ever gotten a deadlock with my Lord Raptor deck. I think uh, Demon. I think it would work in Vega. For its like Vega, Vega, Vega would play Showtime a lot better. Uh, you have in order to in order to play Showtime, you have to just play air de- or uh, flash decks. Are you saying uh, a flash Vega? Yeah, like a flash. Ve- I think a flash Vega deck would still work. Like Vega is de- a defensive enough character that people will play in defensive and then be like, but Demon Realm Awakenings deadlock ability is pretty cool. It's not yes. a deadlock ability, but it triggers in deadlock. Yep. To be able to just pick itself, pick another copy of itself back up is pretty cool. Uh, Spiral Divinia uh, is actually nuts. Deadlock enhanced. Look at your opponent's hand and choose one of it, one card in it, and add it to their momentum. I think yeah. that card is insane. Um, Violent Tatsumaki actually has deadlock reversal. That uh, I've never seen. Yeah. Yeah, that that is incredibly cool. I'm not positive that Ken's gonna get away. Dark Cherry Toe is really cool if you ever get to that point. Dark Cherry Toe will murder somebody if you ever get to deadlock. You cannot go to deadlock against a Dark Cherry Toe deck. You just cannot. That's it is not possible. It's gonna be 16 plus damage. Training Vector is nice. Training Vector. Especially like damage. a good deck. Yeah, we're actually naming a lot more cards than I thought we would. Same thing I'll with Thundering Impact. Deadlock, powerful four. Thundering Impact. Um, okay. You're, you have a uh, data. Well, it seems like what they're doing is that they're making deadlock just mean something. Yeah. Like every, so like every single one of these deadlock abilities, like fusion of souls. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want. Yeah. I found the name of the card. Fusion, fusion of souls. souls. Okay. You it wouldn't want. 
your opponent to activate any of these abilities because they're all like really good. Yeah. I think the reason that deadlock is not as important, or the reason that like so James, this was your topic. You brought yeah, it up yeah, here, oh, yeah. sitting at the table, and you're like, well, it's deadlock's just not good anymore. Yeah, that's what I, deadlock's nuts. So here, the game is too fast for deadlock. I don't think deadlock itself has changed. It's the same way like reversals hasn't changed. Like the bouncing off like topic three. Okay. Reversals are still the same. Deadlock is still the same as it was. Mm -hmm. The game is different. They have a different impact. I disagree. I disagree exclusively because I think the turn that matters, if your opponent is not paying attention, they will accidentally put themselves in a deadlock on that turn three, turn four. But there are so many turn threes that by turn three, you should have ten foundations, and those are the ten foundations you get to play the game with. Um, or you look at your opponent, they don't have any deadlock cards, and you build to 15. Mm -hmm. And now you get to play the game past deadlock yeah um and just understanding like i've seen what you've checked i've seen this and so the reason deadlock is not good is because we as players have learned to play against a deadlock as opposed to deadlock just got worse i think deadlock is I still didn't, nuts. i didn't say deadlock got worse i said the game has changed it's like i don't think reversals got worse i think the game has changed so like the thing about the thing that i'm doing the counterpoint uh, specifically on the reversal point if you want to hear us talk all about our reversals worth it you can check it last or Yest yesterday's episode yesterday's episode um the last 24 hour of the episode uh we're not learning to play differently versus reversal reversal is just a thing that happens i think the game has changed is yep the game's changed sorry <laughs> <laughs> um but we're learning we're learning to play against deadlock differently yeah i watched i watched barrett play a four-hour match, having 11 foundations and then dropping the 10 and going back to 11, dropping the yeah. 10 and back to 11. And uh, the Sniper Joe deck piloted by Dave Wagner, shout-outs. Shout-outs to Barrett. Shout-out like 20 foundations. Uh, shout-out shout out 20 foundations the entire game because Barrett had no deadlock pressure. Yeah. And so Sniper Joe got to realize that and played at 20. Cassie Cage got to realize that and played the 10. And so he played the game correctly. Yeah. And so it's not a – the game has inherently changed. We're not we're not adding new mechanics in order to like, hey, deadlock is worse because we have this new mechanic. The game didn't change. We adapted to, to the, how the deadlock mechanic works. We weren't stumbling into, oh, no, I built 11 foundations on turn four, and you've got three overload dramatics. Go ahead. We're just not doing that. I was saying that, that this is why it was so good in Bebop because that was the f like the, v the first set because that really had deadlock. At that point, the game had changed. At that point, the game had changed, I and we I were stumbling think, into it. I still think the game has changed slightly. I understand that we're playing better as players because we've adapted to having it more in the game. But I think the game has sped up just a little bit faster. I think than like deadlock Akuma itself. definitely so makes it easy. I think I think if you push the deadlock, if you push the deadlock, the game should be over. Like if there's ever a point where either player reaches deadlock, the idea is so for the game to be you over. You think the game has gotten faster since Street Fighter vs. Dark Strikers come out? Yes, I think slightly. So since Mortal Kombat to Street Fighter vs. Dark Strikers, the game I got felt, faster. I actually, despite everything that happened, but if we push away uh, the mic, if we push away uh, Liu Kang and we push, uh, yeah, Liu Kang, right? Yeah, if we push away Liu Kang, and then we push away like those that speed deck and like, um, I guess he got banned, so it doesn't matter. Look on Chi. But like, if you push that away, I think the game actually slowed down. I saw people getting dumpstered on two by reptile decks. I got dumpstered on two by reptile decks. Yeah. I saw people getting dumpstered by Liu Kang, which you're wanting to re yeah. take out of this equation, although I don't think you're allowed to. I think uh, I saw people getting dumpstered on two by Vicious G decks. I saw people getting dumpstered on two by Jet. I saw people I think getting that's dumpstered on two by Faye. I saw people getting play. dumpstered on two. I think that's just play. Different play styles. I also saw a lot of deadlock decks. Yeah, like there were there were quite a, like especially in teams. Teams is where like ran teams. rampant. Yeah. Teams you get teams you get that fluctuation. Sure, of like, one fast, one slow. Like there were match. there was an extreme amount of deadlock decks in teams that just played lame and built just built in deadlock and this guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but like. I, I get that, but what I'm saying is is I don't think the deadlock cards that came out in Street Fighter vs. Dark Starkers matter more than Mortal Kombat. I don't think it matters more than— I don't think so either. I don't think they're as relevant. 
but I think they're just as good. That's the issue. It looks like all the stuff in the newest set is like if you build in a deadlock, now this card's really, really cool. Yeah. Like, no, you never put these cards into a like, deadlock deck. I think deck. the best card that uh, I remember seeing was I think Dark Cherry Toe is really good at deadlock. I think Saved by Lane is very cheeky at deadlock. And obviously, all of Gil's stuff that says free and whatnot. But I don't think anything else at Deadlock from Dark Soccer vs. Street Fighter did anything. So, like, if you if you go in, in with the intention of... They did something of, and then got better. If you go into the intention of, I'm going to build a deck that's designed to go into Deadlock, you your wouldn't put cards, any of these... You your wouldn't best put, cards aren't going to be from Dark Soccer vs. Street Fighter. You wouldn't put any of the cards in the deck. That I, finished that, my I don't like that sentence. That's why I was cutting you off. All right, sure. <laughs> I didn't like the way you were going with that sentence. Because I don't think you won't play any of these. Depending on the deck, I think it's sure. But like, you're not gonna look at these like, oh, well. I mean, I'm, you might this for cool new by two. Elena. The the two cards I would do is Saved by Elena or Dark Chirito. I don't know. I don't actually don't think Saved by Elena is any good. But I don't know. that's I that's my. I think it's first ability is not good. I think it's Deadlock ability is really good. I don't think you can put in any. I don't think I don't think Deadlock is a deck anymore. I don't think Deadlock is a deck because the players have adapted. I won't. I just won't. I just won't go to eleven foundations. I just won't. I would rather I would rather just sit here and I'll review on every turn and let and let you keep building or build my deadlock cards and bl I have cards in my deck that blow up in order to activate abilities. So I'll go to I'll go to twelve and then blow up two cards. Okay. All right. Well, I'm still back at ten and I've psych I've cycled in my deadlock cards and you did you, you go did you go to fourteen? I just feel like if you did I'm that, you slowed you. yourself down. You wasted turns doing nothing. But you didn't because I. You did. I've I got the advantage of playing more cards. And then you chose not to play things. Yeah, so but the chose to so play things the you thing. didn't want to get it's, rid of. If I guess it comes down to if the deck is will only work in deadlock, like Elena, I feel like she will, she will only work, not, quote unquote, only work in deadlock. But like a different good deck, I think will will build into deadlock, and then keep building. And then now have this giant tool set. I think set a good example of that this the only way you can do anything about it is to build in a deadlock. And at that point, you've now lost. I think the only good deck right now would be Anacris as a comparison. It's not going to do anything early game. It has to hit deadlock. Like it has to keep pushing, pushing the game. If it doesn't, it's going to lose fast. So Anacris is an outlier because all yeah. of it it cannot not go into deadlock if it does not go into deadlock it does not play cards it, i could play a singular attack every turn in a normal circumstance deck and not be in deadlock i could play one attack it get completely blocked and i pass my turn i block what my things i review my foundation i draw and do one more attack and five weren't great cards i play my attack i pass my turn anacris can also do that though anacris can't play it the great surveyor cards. pick up fatality fatality and turn sure okay that, that's literally actually the it's literally just the entire deck is surveyor fatality. Sure. Literally just is kind and, of the same and thing. At that, and at that point, as soon as Anacris hits ten foundations that matter, I bet he could do it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm glad we agree. I understand, but like I don't think he's as good at ten at ten as he would be. If at my if I'm stare if I'm staring down three face of monsters, if I'm staring down these these unbelievable deadlock abilities on my opponent's foundations. Then I think he loses an actress. Or I, I'm a good player and I play around it. I think you need more I than psych, time to play I as an actress. Psych. Well, the good news is he's rotating. I think the point that is, is also very good news. We're we're arguing a point yeah. without like really giving any more like true details. details. Yeah. Of, I totally get that you could see you could potentially be wasting turns. But hey, I drew six gray cards. Uh, I guess I should play four of them. Just isn't the right call. It might just be I'll pass and review one, see if you you punch into me. I don't I don't have to build. Cards. Like I, I understand like doing it once, but like you're talking about like filtering your deck just to get deadlock and not have things. That's just wasting time. That's wasting turns. Versus a deadlock deck, you've just lost. If you if you have to wait one or two turns just to filter in your good cards, you've just lost. Versus a deadlock deck. You don't have the chance. Okay. Like, I understand the one turn. Well, man, I, I need to sit here for one turn because I don't want to hit deadlock right now. And then he doesn't do anything next turn. You'll be like, well, I kind of forced in this situation now. Like, I'm going to get behind. 
Yeah. You don't get that option versus a deadlock deck. I, I guess it's a good thing we're both on the show because we can disagree with each other. Yeah. But I watched Barrett play a three-hour game where he barely lost and stayed at 10 foundation. He ended the game at 10. You're right. He had the ability to do it, though. Not every deck has the ability to just sit there and lean between that line. So not every deck has that ability. The is that because of building the deck that way? It's because of Shadow Inheritance. Is that is that because of building the deck that way? Is yeah. it possible I think for me to build yeah. a, a non-deadlock deck? Yeah. I think so. I'm going to just play Ken 2 Dot, and I'll just always go in. Well, I think that's... I guess we'll figure that out. Will you go click the light? Yes, I will. One more. A. Thank you. I think it takes you a long way. Solid? Well, at least the lights start flickering. And I'm back. So, like, the, the, the big thing is... is I don't think the cards got worse. I think all of these deadlock cards matter. If you put them in your deck, I'm going to be scared of them. Well, yeah. I, like I said, I think the game got faster. Like, we, you were talking about, like, the cards didn't lose strength. And I was like, I don't think they lost strength. I think the game changed. Okay. The game got faster where deadlock doesn't matter, but it still does. You're trying to get, you're trying to get the kill range to be the 10 foundations so you avoid going there. You build your deck around that 10. You don't build to get above 10. Because you know you're going to stay out of it. Any opinions? I don't know. I guess I'm thinking like it comes down to is any deck that can kill with less than 10 foundations is kind of proving the point that James is making is that the deck got the game up. Uh, so like Akuma, Lilith, Vega, or not Vega, uh, Vega, but uh, Scorpion, Jackie can do it. So you think before Street Fighter versus Darkstalkers, People were playing 11 foundations, and that's the only way they could kill people. No, I'm no. not saying that was the only way. I'm saying it was a viable situation. I'm saying maybe that would happen in Debo. They could build decks and have that style. People are now choosing to build decks that don't move past 11 because they know they don't want to have to deal with deadlock. They don't want to have to mess with it. So they don't put options in there because they know since they're not doing it, their opponents aren't going to do it. I, I think it comes down to this. Like what, what made Spike bad? Because Spike was a deadlock deck. I think Spike's still really good. I just think... There's not like I think that's that's, that's that's the example is that like Spike was very good and he got a building deadlock like it was nobody's business because he didn't care. Well, yeah, he also had free. He had free everything, damage. right? So after that, Spike stopped being played for whatever reason. Punchy. Sure. And then now, he's still not going to be played. I think he can be played. I actually want to play him. That's right. actually one of my goals tonight. So the reason Spike stopped being played is because we got other contenders into the race and other things that stopped Spike's main mechanic. We had things that dropped DR. We had things that um, 24 life didn't matter when all your attacks had plus 6 damage. Um, minus 2 speed didn't matter when Sub-Zero dipped your hand or a Reptile dipped your hand and then ate your head. Um, I think there were just other things made, crafted to fight Spike. So Spike did not – the 24 free damage did not – didn't feel overwhelming. So I just thought of another – bouncing off of what you said earlier about, like, uh, Sub-Zero killing you fast by dipping your hand or, like, Reptile. Because you mentioned earlier how you died on the turn two. Those decks have a potential of after they don't kill you on that turn two. Like, they had that sick of the – sick of cool turn of just whoop and dipped your hand, killed you for whatever. If they don't, they have the ability to just sit back and then do it anyways at any point. They, they set up right, have all the discard, and then do it anyways. Well, that's just the natural – that's that's void in a nutshell. Well, yeah. But like, I feel like Scorpion can do it too. He can. I feel like Liu Kang can do it at the time. Yeah, absolutely. Jackie can definitely do it. Draw three is nuts. Plus six damage is nuts. So like – the characters at the time had the ability to kill you fast, and if not, to kill you later. Sure. So that so that's like. I think I might just be talking in circles. Yeah, I don't know what we're talking about. What's the strength of deadlock? Uh, 
I get that. I, I mean, I don't know what what we're arguing about. What we're what points we're trying to make. I do think the game got a little bit faster, but just because like Akuma and Lilith. Like, I just feel like the game sped up with the attacks that were brought to us. Sure. You've also only been playing Akuma. I know. That's why I'm going to build a slow deck right now after we're done. I just feel like the game sped up by what it was what was given to us. We didn't gain anything, in my opinion, that slowed us down. That's a fair statement. I'm not positive that the game sped up or, or slowed down. And I think that's the issue that I'm having with your sentence is I don't think the game sped up. I don't. I think, I think the game is. I think, I think this we, set is exactly the same tempo as as every other set. I think Akuma kills you just as fast as 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 cutting yourself to desperation with Scorpion. I think it kills you just as fast as ripping air ground smashers off the top and your opponent not blocking. I think it kills you just as fast as Quan Chi playing as many uh, cannons as possible or draw or, or ripping Prince of Perry or uh, for ripping uh, Let's Party after Let's Party after Let's Party. It's killing you just as fast. Lord Raptor is killing you just as fast. Lord Raptor gets to ten foundations, and you're, I'm at ten foundations. You're at five foundations, and you're dead. Like that's that's how the deck works. Mm-hmm. It's not any faster or slower. Lilith plays three attacks, and you're dead because of the the pumps that it does. Like it's not faster or slower. You still have to build in these decks. What I'm, what I'm saying is is none of these cards make me go, man. You know what I want to do with Faye? I want to build forty five foundations and make my opponent build forty five foundations so I can multiple three them. I mean, this, that's okay. This, this is why I don't want to play Gil the way that they want me to play Gil. All of Gil's attacks say you want to be in desperation or deadlock, excuse yeah. me. And I, what I'm saying is, is, I don't think that's good enough. I think your opponent can outplay that too easy. For the same way of like, you know how you beat Vega, you put him to ten, and then you put him to zero. The issue that bah. the issue that we have is Vega can can cut himself to desperation, and we have nothing in the game that forces your opponent to go to deadlock, so they can play around it. That's why I said they need to introduce something that forces your opponent to build. I I agree, but um, I also feel like it'd be. I think strong. deadlock might be a little too strong if if we had that. I think it needs to be a character, and it needs to be symbols that don't currently have the deadlock, like all the deadlock. So it can't tickets. be a good character. So it can't be a good character. Well, it needs to have its own. It doesn't need all the tickets of like good. Jumping into a different topic. Yeah. So uh, with that, I think we're going to call this episode to a close. Me and James have very differing opinions about the current game state, I guess. So uh, <laughs> let us know in the comments down below who you hey, agree Hey, I haven't played it like two months, so I'm probably wrong. Um, let us know who you agree, agree or disagree with. Um, with that, we're going to bring this episode to a close. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, go up to patreon.com slash tcgduniversity and uh, suggest us topics or whatnot. Subscribe to the different channels. Um Comment on the videos. Comment on the videos. Suggest your local play groups. Do you got to do to help make the channel grow? Um, The more we grow, the cooler content we get to do. So with that, stay learned. Stay learned. Been learned. See you guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this week's episode of Study Hall. If you like this video a lot, um, go ahead and you can click on this one over here to see last week's video of Study Hall. This one over here is going to be a playlist of our past Study Halls that we've been doing or any of our other past content. Um, we're going to have another square, I think right over here, is Tam's going to put it right there for me. Uh, if you're new to UFS and you don't know what we talked about this week, feel free to check that out if you're new and you want to get to know the game a little bit better. Um, and if you want to support us, we brought it up before, go ahead and click on our Patreon. That link's going to be right over here next to me. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll hopefully see you next week.